Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get a ZX Spectrum emulator for your PlayStation Vita. Now this one is a lot better than the one you can use on RetroArch. I'm not really a fan of these types of games, but the emulator itself is very good. So if you guys would want to get it, go ahead and open up Vita Shell. Wait for Vita Shell to just load up. Go and press select. Now let's go and connect our PS Vita to our PC, and I will show you guys what to do from there. Okay guys, so once you're over on your computer, I'll leave a link to ZX Vita in the description of this video. So there's just a small description, it says, ZX Vita is a Sinclair ZX Spectrum 48K emulator for the PlayStation Vita. So if you guys would like to get the VPK, all you have to do is just click download where it says download link, and it's just going to download the VPK for us. Okay, so once we've got this, we can just go to our downloads folder and find where we've got it. Now I've also got a ROM for this. Um, the ROMs are in the Z80 format. It's up to you where you get your ROMs from, they're pretty easy to get hold of. But what we're going to do is we're just going to get a VPK and we're going to get our ROM as well. And we're just going to drag and drop this on the root of our PS Vita. Now with the ROMs, you can pretty much put them wherever you want. I've got my own ROMs folder, which I just use. Um, I'm just going to put it inside of there and I'm going to create a brand new folder for it. So I'm going to create right click, new folder. Um, maybe I'll just call it like Z80 or something like that. Or um, which one was it? It was the ZX, but maybe, yeah, I'll just call it ZX, I guess. That's probably a good name for it. So I'm just going to call my folder ZX, and I'm just going to put my ROM in here. And there you go. That is pretty much it. We've now got the emulator, and we've got our ROM. Let's go and install it, and let's test it out. So now what we can do is we can go onto our UXO and we can find our VPK file and we can install it. So here is mine, zxvita.vpk. Let's press X, X again, and then X one more time and it will just install this VPK file. Now I did actually notice one thing, I put a game in my ROMs folder, but once the VPK installs, it does actually make its own ROMs folder on the data file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to ROMs here, I'm just going to find my game, and I'm actually just going to press triangle, go down to copy, and I'm going to put it into the proper folder. As I said, I didn't know it actually made one until I installed the VPK. So if you go into UXO, if you go into data, if you go into, if you just scroll down, you will be able to find it. It's this one right here, ZX Vita. So if you go into that, go into games, and you can just paste it. So I'm just going to overwrite mine. And there you go, this is the official ROMs folder. So it's UXO, data, ZX Vita, and then games. Now what we can do, close out of each shell, and we can actually find it on our home screen. So here it is, ZX Vita. Let's just go and start this up. And this is what it looks like, so I really like the boot screen, it's really good. We've got start game, load and save, controls, settings, basic and about. Um, if you go into settings, it's actually kind of like the SNES emulator, I think it might be by the same developer. But as you can see, we've got settings in here, you can change pretty much anything, and um, you can just go down to exit, which is um, this one right here. So it's just like back on the D-pad. But what we're going to do, we're going to go up to start game, press X, and here is our ROM. So we've got Ghosts and Goblins. These games are quite old fashioned, so they're like kind of old for me, so I'm not really a fan of them. But this emulator is very, very good. It does run them very well. Um, this game does actually like require a keyboard, or some of the games do. So if you press start, it will split the screen, and you can actually view the keyboard. Or you can press start again, just to go back into the full screen mode. So I'll try and play this game. It is um, zero, so this one right here. And then the game will actually start up. So you can play it like normal using like D-pad and stuff, and then you can also play it using the keyboard as well. Um, this game is actually quite hard to play. It's basically Ghosts and Goblins, but like really old-fashioned version. So yeah, pretty interesting. I'm gonna try and play it. Is it somehow I, I can throw stuff as well? I think it is it X. I don't even know. Okay, so there you go, I died. But yeah, it's a pretty good emulator. As I said, you've still got the keyboard on here. You can press X and you can use it. And um, yeah, it's actually not too bad. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to make a quick video on it. It's probably the best, um, you know, emulator, or the best ZX Spectrum emulator that we can actually get. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.